Gentlemen, welcome back. You're back with MGTOW Money. Today's topic, why are MGTOW so angry? Before we get to that, let me sincerely thank, as always, the ongoing investment support from the Patreon supporters of this channel. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's men like you that make this channel worthwhile and give me tremendous incentive to con continue moving forward with it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, I urge you, see the video description. Consider becoming a Patreon supporter of this channel because you know it's important and because you know know you're getting value out of it. All right, let's get on to today's topic. Why are MGTOWs so angry? Yes, gentlemen, I get it. Not all of you are angry. Some of you are very happy-go-lucky people, etc. However, clearly, based upon the comments, based upon videos that I've seen and that type of thing, there is a significant element of anger, resentment, unhappiness within the MGTOW community, if you will. And, you know, I'm going to sort of shift subjects here. I, instead, in the future, I think I'll do a future video about why I think this exists. And one reason why I do think that it exists is because there's a void that's here within the MGTOW community. But before, let's get into what is anger, bitterness disappointments. These gentlemen, these are feelings. They are not things. They are not external events. You can't have a picture or a painting of anger. You can attempt to portray it. But these are simple, frankly, gentlemen, these are just chemical processes that happen in a person's brain and they manifest themselves in some sort of feeling that a person gets. And just because you're angry or disappointed in something doesn't mean that your brother is going to be angry or disappointed in that exact same event. Here's my point in 10 words or less, gentlemen. You can practice, you can learn a skill to take greater control of yourself and in turn elevate yourself, become better at handling anger, disappointment, hurt, etc. You can better able your mind to move forward when these things happen. And here are three quick tips, things that you can apply today to start doing so. All right, first, no matter what happens, gentlemen, no matter how bad it is, you've got to stay cool. You've got to stay calm. You've got to stay rational. You've got to be thinking. I did a video several videos ago where I was talking about stoicism and I used a picture of Mr. Spock. That's what you've got to do gentlemen. You've got to keep your mind thinking. Generally, gentlemen, when you are angry, when you're outraged, when you're furious, you know what? You're not thinking. Your feelings are in control. Let me give you a brief example of something that happened to me years ago. This is more than two decades ago. When my wife, when I became aware of my ex-wife who had cheated on me, I who had cheated on me with a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, when I became aware of that, I was angry. I was furious. And I was also very very upset. However, when I saw them, I saw them both and as well as I saw them on separate occasions. Do you know what I said to them about it? Nothing, gentlemen. I never mentioned it. I never expressed my anger. I never expressed my sadness. I never expressed my disappointment because, gentlemen, I was in control. Now, it took me a while to get to that level. However, I knew, gentlemen, that the bottom line is there's nothing I can do about that event that had happened in the past. There was no way to fix it. There was no good to come out of my feeling, out of my emotion. Instead, gentlemen, I chose, that's the key word, I chose to be in control of my emotions and to take responsibility for my actions. And 10 words or less, gentlemen, I didn't let them see me sweat. I didn't let them know that this had deterred me, that this situation, if you will, had affected me at all. That's how you want to be, gentlemen. All right, so next, when something bad happens to you, a bad event, a disappointment, you just dump over a cup of coffee, whatever it might be, gentlemen. Switch your mind immediately. Again, getting back to that thinking mind, get back to the basics. What's the first thing you've got to do to start fixing the situation? Stop thinking about why did it happen. Instead, focus on what can I do to fix the situation? If you're having Having a problem with too much spending, what's the first thing that you can do right now today to stop spending money? If you're having a problem with overeating, what's the first thing that you can do today to stop overeating? If you're having an, a problem with X, what's the most basic, simple thing you can do right now to stop it or to move forward with it? The point is, gentlemen, when you're dealing with some sort of disappointment, start thinking about immediately what's the most basic, simple, specific thing that I can do right now to deal with this situation. Next. 
facts. When you're dealing with some sort of problem, some sort of issue. Example, I was recently involved in a project with a friend of mine. I put up some money. We initiated the project after he repeatedly told me everything was going to be fine and how easy it would be, etc. And unfortunately, it went by the wayside. It didn't work out as we had planned. He insisted to me, though, that, well, hey, look, okay, it didn't work out that time. We were unlucky, but look, just put up some more money and we'll make it work this time. So I I went ahead along in spite of being concerned. Second time going around, put up some more money. We initiated the project again, and guess what? It failed miserably a second time. So two times in a row. Now, my first reaction, of course, and it certainly would have been when I was much, much younger, would have been outrage, anger. Oh my God, you fool. Why did you tell me this? Why did you convince me of this? Instead, instead, gentlemen, here's what I did. Nothing. I said, dude, look, forget it. We did our best. Let's go try something totally different. This is not working. And he was absolutely insistent. Oh, third time's a charm, etc. No, I'm not going to go down that road again. I sincerely appreciate it. The point is, gentlemen, I was calm. I was rational. I was thinking. In no way, shape, or form did I show anger to him. You know why, gentlemen? Because ultimately, I made the choice. And it was my responsibility. And I chose to put up the money. And I chose, ultimately, it was my decision to move forward. In spite of whatever might have manifested itself in terms of what he was suggesting. You can do the same thing, gentlemen. Most importantly, gentlemen, you can focus on what lesson can be learned from these disappointments like I've just described. What things can be adjusted, can be changed? How can you prevent these things from happening in the future? Reframe the situation, gentlemen. Reposition the situation. Think, how can I handle this better in the future? Again, you're looking to learn a lesson, gentlemen. I guarantee you, no matter how catastrophic or how terrible the situation is, the disappointments you're dealing with, etc., there's something you can learn. There's some way that you can make yourself smarter if you'll look for that kernel, that golden nugget, actually. You can be smarter. You can lead a more effective life. You can have more and have more wisdom and lead you to and get you to a rich life. All right, gentlemen, let's quickly summarize here. Look, when you're dealing with some sort of disappointment, you've just wrecked your car, something bad's happened to you, you got passed over to promotion at your job or whatever it might be, stay cool. Start thinking, gentlemen. Stop emoting. Stop being a woman. That's a woman's default position, gentlemen. You're not a woman, gentlemen. You're a man. You're going to keep your mind in sync and you're immediately going to start thinking. Again, what are the basics? What is the first thing that you can do today to fix this problem? Stop asking why is this happening? Oh, woes me, etc. Ask yourself, gentlemen, how and what question. What can I do now? How can I fix this now? How can I move forward today? Remember, gentlemen, you always have options. There's always something simple that you can do right now today to, if nothing else, maybe not fix the problem, but if nothing else, simply mitigate the damage, you know, minimize what's happening. All right, lastly, remember, you're going to reframe these things, gentlemen. Things don't happen to you. They happen for you. You can reframe. You can think, okay, just like, just like a scientist, a scientist fails many, many times in their experiments. The point is you're a scientist, gentlemen. Some things are going to work out really well. Some things won't. And so when that disappointment comes, which inevitably it comes to anyone, gentlemen, or that terrible situation comes, ask yourself one single question. What can I learn here? What can I take out of this? How can I be a better person? Because you can be, gentlemen, no matter how bad the circumstances are, you can get something out of it and be a strong person on the other side. All right, gentlemen, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you found that useful. As always, John Galt, out.